Welcome back to the Custom NPCs tutorial series. In this episode, we will be going over the Advanced tab. We will not be going over roles or jobs, nor dialogues. Those will each have their own video. Lines are things the NPC will say in chat and appear in these little speech bubbles. You can write the line out on the left here, and then select a sound that will be played when that line is spoken on the right. World lines are randomly spoken without any prompting from the NPC. They will not say these lines while aggroed. Attack lines are lines said when an NPC finds an enemy. It doesn't matter what onfound enemy is set to in the AI tab, they will say this line. Interact lines are spoken directly to the player when the player interacts with them. Kill the lines are said when the NPC dies. Kill lines are said when the NPC kills something. NPC lines are said when an NPC interacts with another NPC if their movement type is set to wandering. Typing in at P will make the NPC say the name of the nearest player. Typing in player in brackets will make the NPC say the name of the player that interacts with them. Typing at NPC will make them say their own name. When random lines are set to yes, they will choose a random line from the list whenever they say a line. When set to no, they will say each line consecutively. For example, I have five lines set for killed lines. Each time he dies, he says the next consecutive kill line. In factions, you choose which faction the NPC is a part of. As you can see at the top, the color of the faction chosen changes the color of the NPC name. Here you toggle if the NPC is aggroed by NPCs who are part of factions that they consider hostile. If this is set to off, they will only be aggroed if hit first. Here you toggle if the NPC will defend fellow faction members if they are attacked. For example, when set to no, these NPCs are part of the same faction, but only the one I hit attacks me. When set to yes, all the NPCs attack me. On death, you can choose how many points a player will gain or lose for two factions. Click on a faction, type in the amount of points here, then choose if you want to decrease or increase the amount of points the player has, then click add to register it. In the sounds menu, you can choose sounds for the NPC. To delete a sound, just click inside the box, press Ctrl A to highlight it, then press backspace to delete it. Living sound is played randomly by the NPC. Angry sound is a sound played randomly when the NPC is aggroed. Hurt sound is a sound played when an NPC is damaged. Death sound is a sound played when the NPC dies. And step sound is a sound played whenever the NPC takes a step. When has pitch is set to yes, the sound will be given a random pitch when played. When set to no, the sound will always be played at the original pitch. NPCs can have two different versions of themselves, which they will switch between depending on if it's day or night. We edit that in the night menu. On the left here, we have all the NPC tabs, Setting them to yes will mean that this tab is a different version for day and night, and the NPC will switch between them. To change the settings, toggle editing mode to yes. Then, you can choose to load the day version of the NPC, or the night version of the NPC. When you click load day or night, make sure to exit out of the NPC menu, then enter back in again. Sometimes the mod doesn't register when you load day or night. Then, make your changes through the NPC. Toggle editing mode to no to make the NPC switch automatically.
the linked menu, a list of linked categories will show up here. You click on the name to add the NPC to that linked category, and click on clear to remove them from that category. NPCs in a linked category all share the same settings and customization. If you change one, you change all of them at the same time. Creating a category will be gone over in the Global Tab video. Scenes are like simpler scripts for the NPC. Name the scene here, then click Add. You can add up to six scenes per NPC. When the scene is disabled, it will not run on this NPC when it is started. You have to toggle it to Enable. You can choose if the scene can be started by pressing numpad 1, 2, or 3, and clicking X deletes the scene. Click Edit to open the Scene Editor. Scenes run on seconds. When a scene is started, it counts up in seconds. When you edit a scene, for each line you first put a number. This is the second you want this line to be run. So if I put 4 here, when this scene is started, after 4 seconds it will run whatever I put there. In the description, I have put a list of functions for scenes. Thank you to Doubt for that. The scene is started by using the command slash nopes scene start scene name. Multiple NPCs can have the same scene name. The scene will run on all NPCs that have the same scene name. So these three NPCs all have a scene named NPC scene. When I start the scene, these NPCs will all start running it. When a scene is started, it will continue to run until it is reset. A scene cannot be started again if it is running. To reset a scene, type slash nopes scene reset scene name. Or just type nopes scene reset to reset all scenes. Nopes scene time number scene will set the scene to that specific second. Nopes scene pause scene name will pause the scene on the second it is at. To unpause, use the slash nopes scene start command. Marks are 3D symbols that appear over the NPC's head. Add a mark, then select the symbol you want. This lets you change the color. The availability options will make it so the player can only see the mark when they meet these options. Clicking X deletes the mark. You can add 9 marks, but the game will only display the first mark that the player meets the availability options for. And that is most of the features of the Advanced tab. Thank you for watching, in the next episode we will be going over the Global tab.